At the start of the movie, a beautiful girl called Carola is on a beach with her boyfriend of two years, Stefan. They are in Kenya, Africa, having their last day of vacation. Stefan asks his girlfriend if they can go to a place called Mombasa. Carola tells her boyfriend that she wants to spend their last day together at the beach, but she eventually gives in. She sees a Maasai warrior, a tribesman, on the ferry, and she is immediately attracted to him. Stefan decides to go get some pot from a sketchy guy when the couple gets to town. The shady guy tells the couple to follow him and wait for him in an alley, but the man soon shows up with two other thugs. The couple figures out that they are thieves and runs away quickly as the other three thieves chase after them. Carola and Stefan are trying to get away when they run into the Maasai warrior again. The thugs run away as soon as they see him, which is easy for him to do. The Maasai warrior then leads the couple safely to the ferry. When the couple returns to the city, they miss the bus to their hotel. When the Maasai fighters see this, they decide to help them get back to their hotel by giving them a ride. At the hotel, Carola invites them for a drink to thank them for all their help, but Stefan starts fighting with her because he doesn't want to spend his last day with strangers and wants to spend time with her. But Carola is sure that she wants to spend time with the fighters, so she goes by herself. At the bar, Carola and Lamellian, a Maasai warrior, start dancing and get closer to each other over time. Just then, Stefan sees them up close and gets angry at Lamellian right away. Before the fight gets worse, Carola quickly pulls her boyfriend away and says goodbye to her crush. The next morning at the airport, Carola has a change of heart and decides not to go back with Stefan. The couple gets into an argument, and Carola tells him she wants to stay behind and learn more about the Maasai culture. Stefan then leaves because he is angry, and Carola goes back to find Lamalian. She finds out at the bar that Lamalian has gone back to his village from other Maasai fighters, so Carola goes to the village in question. During one of her stops in the village, she meets another foreigner named Elizabeth. After meeting a man, Elizabeth also decided to live in Kenya. Elizabeth tells Carola that if she stays in the village where Lamalian is from, she will have to deal with hard times because there is no water or power there. But Carola doesn't listen to her advice, even though she heard it, and keeps asking her where she can find Lamalian. Elizabeth tells her that she must wait for Lamalian to come find her, because no one is allowed to go to the Maasai village without an invitation. So Carola stays at Elizabeth's house to wait. After 10 days, Lamellian goes to find her, and as soon as he does, he and she feel a strong bond. Soon enough, the two start holding hands. Lamellian takes Carola to his village after they spend the night together. He brings her into his small home and shows her to his family. Carola decides to find Lamellian, who is out shooting, after he has spent some time with his family. She is shocked by the culture when she sees her now boyfriend drink the blood of a goat that was killed by hunters. She then goes back home and waits for Lamellian to return. When he does, she tries to cuddle with him. But Lamellian pushes her away because it is against his culture for a man to be close with a woman when other people are around. The next day, Carola learns about more cultural differences, such as how women aren't allowed to change to take a bath in front of men. Later, a customs officer comes to the village and finds Carola. He tells her that outsiders are not allowed to stay with the Maasai group unless they were born there, are married to someone who lives there, or have a special visa. So, she and Lamellian go to the city together to get an extension and the special visa so that she can stay longer. When they get there, the couple starts spending time alone together, and soon their love grows stronger. But one night, when Lamellian goes to a store to buy food, Carola passes out in the street. Lamellian finds out quickly that she has malaria and goes to take care of her. After Carola gets better, she decides to buy a truck, and they drive back to the village together. They then take Lamellian's family on a trip in the truck. But right at that moment, Lamellian's mother starts berating him for letting a woman drive, since a man should always be in charge. Lamellian had no choice but to take the wheel, but he crashed the truck soon after. This makes Carola mad, so she starts to yell at Lamellian making him leave. She quickly drives to Lamalian, tells him she's sorry, and then they all go back to the village. As the days go by, Carola's visa runs out again. Lamalian asks her to marry him, and she agrees. She tells Lamalian, though, that she has to go back to her home country of Switzerland 
first to say goodbye to her family and take care of some personal business. Corolla swears to return, so Lemalion has no choice but to let her leave. Corolla's family is upset when she tells them she is going to marry a tribe man in Switzerland. Her family tries to tell her she's making a big mistake, but she won't listen and insists on getting married. The next day, she goes to close down her clothes business and returns to Kenya to marry Lemelian. On the day of the wedding, Corolla wears a standard white wedding dress and Lemelian wears his warrior clothes. The two finally become husband and wife. When Corolla wakes up the next morning, she sees the women of the village cutting a young girl's genitalia. She is shocked by this and calls Lemelian to try to stop them, but he doesn't do anything and says that it's custom for a girl to become a woman. Corolla is upset by this disgusting ritual, so she leaves. When Corolla, who is now pregnant, decides to open a shop where she will sell food and drinks, things soon start to get worse. But Lemelian doesn't like the idea because women in the village are meant to stay at home and take care of the family. Soon after, they get into an argument, but then one of the tribe's members finds Corolla and brings her to a pregnant woman who has just passed out. Corolla quickly asks the people around for help, but they don't help her because they think the pregnant woman is cursed. Corolla eventually gets the woman on the truck, and she heads quickly to the city. The truck, however, eventually breaks down, and the baby in the mother's belly dies. This leads Corolla sad and scarred, and she finds it difficult to adjust to her new life. After a while, she finally starts her shop, and because she has been in business before, it does well. But Lemelian starts to resent his wife's success because he no longer feels like he is providing for his family. As Corolla is always smiling at the male customers, making him feel disrespected, he also starts to feel jealous of other men. Lemelian goes up to his wife one day because he thinks she is cheating on him. Corolla tries to convince him that she is not cheating on him, but Lemelian doesn't believe her and walks out. When Corolla finds out that Lemelian has been giving all of his friends free food and drinks, the couple's relationship soon gets worse. She tells him that the shop is a business and that he can't keep acting like that. Lemelian leaves after they soon get into another fight. One night, Corolla goes into labor and has to give birth right away. She is rushed to a nearby hospital in the city. She gives birth to a healthy baby, which is a happy event that the couple celebrates when they get back to the village. The next day, Corolla goes back to check on her shop. When she gets there, she finds that Lemelian has given away all of her goods. So, over the next few days, she starts being strict with Lemelian's friends and stops giving them free stuff. Lemelian tries to tell her to stop, but she won't listen. As the months go by, Lemelian starts to feel like he's no longer the man of the family. Since Corolla is now a successful business owner and he's just a helper in the shop, one night he loses it and calls his wife a prostitute because he thinks she sleeps with her customers to get them to buy from her shop. They soon get into a big fight, but other men in the group stop Lemelian before he does anything worse to his wife. The next morning, a still angry Lemelian cuts off his hair, puts on modern clothes and finds Corolla. He asks her if she respects him more now because she is always smiling at other men dressed like this. The man thinks right away that the man is sleeping with his wife when another man walks in. Corolla manages to stop him and an unhappy Lemelian leaves. Later, when they get back to the village, Corolla tells her husband that she wants to take her daughter to Switzerland so that her family can meet her, and he agrees. When Corolla asks Lemelian to sign a form at the immigration center before she leaves, Lemelian starts to worry about her. He asks his wife about it because he can't read, but she says it's nothing, so he eventually signs it. Corolla promises to return to him when he asks her to. She gets on the bus, but right before she leaves, Lemelian tells her that he knows she won't be back. Corolla leaves without saying anything. At the end of the movie, Corolla sheds a tear as she leaves behind her life with Lemelian for good.